guys, welcome to my channel. This is going to be the air sign reading for the full moon and lunar eclipse in Capricorn. Um, when I was sitting down to start preparing for the reading, um, I heard Nerf. Like, Nerf gun, which I thought was kind of stupid and funny. <laughs> Don't ask. Um, and I also heard Banshee. Like, scream like a banshee. I don't know. Super, super random. Um, on that note, you guys feel chaotic. Like, really chaotic. Like, um, maybe the Nerf reference is, like, whizzing around. I just feel like you're moving around a lot. And I have, like, back pain. Um, like, it set in, like, almost instantly, like, right in the middle of my back. So it could be something to do with your solar plexus or heart chakra. Or it could just be that you're whizzing around like a freaking Nerf dart and someone's screaming at you like, I don't know. It just, it feels super, super, super chaotic. Um, so we'll see what that's about. <laughs> Nerf. Nerf. I don't know. <laughs> super super freaking dumb <laughs> um but all right oh that was quick wow oh shit oh hey this could be a work situation where you're running around like a chicken with your head cut off the ace of wands with the chariot and the three of pentacles this is a collaborative energy it could be talking about work um Look at his face. He's like, eh. Like, moving, 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 moving. But he looks kind of like... I don't know. I don't know why I'm getting that right off the bat. If you guys are overextending yourselves or, like, pushing really hard on something, moving around a lot. Temperance and the Page of Coins. I like that temperance is here. Um, can talk about spirit healing, a situation bringing balance in Sagittarian energy, major for Sag. Uh, we also have major for Cancer here as well. With the page of coins, so we'll look at what that's all about. Temperance is nice though. I like temperance. Nice energy. Yeah, even the way that the cards flew out, it's like, whoa, like, oof. Maybe you guys need to, like, listen to your body right now. Seven of Pentacles. Yeah, this is a lot of Pentacles right off the bat. This might all have to do in the realm of work. Do you get that weird thing that readers get where their noses get itchy? It's like really common in tarot readings. I don't know why everyone gets that. It's it's almost like <laughs> the whisper of spirit is like rustling our nose hairs around or something. <laughs> I don't know. I feel kind of goofy now too. I don't know if maybe you guys are feeling kind of silly. That could be why you're whizzing around too. Lovers, major for Gemini. Interesting. Eight of Swords. This has been coming out in every reading, which is indicative of <clears throat> justice with the Five of Cups and the Eight of Swords. The underlying energy here. Justice major for Libra. This is being stuck in thoughts. This can be like loss or grief. It can also be like kind of like a crying over spilled milk kind of situation. So we'll see why that's underlying. But the whole the whole thing with eclipses um, and and changes of energy like this is. It, it does serve to remove those blockages where we're kind of stuck in something. 
you know. Um, here are things that, um, also right off the bat, between this Temperance card and this, uh, Temperance can be also indicative of divine timing. Divine timing's at play here. And I always get that their time with this card. And it is a, an energy of like sitting and like reevaluating. Could be an oppor opportunity coming in from divine timing here that you're going to have to think about with that lover's like decision energy. Let's look at the seven. Um, Look at the chariot with the ace of wands. That is something coming in for sure. Gossip. Banshee. Just saying. <laughs> Quest on the bottom. I like that. With enlightenment. Confusion. Yeah, that really like, uh, what was I just saying about whispers of spirit? Very, okay, weird, interesting messages coming out this one already. But with enlightenment, you know, and the page of coins, it's almost like hearing the whisper of spirit. So, quest, 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 quest. Gossip. Interesting. Okay, this is going to be a weird one, guys. As you couldn't tell already from me being like, where's your nerve? <laughs> God. Anyways. You could just be like dipping like out of a situation where there's a lot of gossip happening in the workplace. Let's clarify the ace of wands. Ooh, moving towards victory for sure. Um, this can also be an attention seeking card. Especially with that gossip. Like he's like Check me out, like they're both showboating. They're both like, yeah, look how freaking awesome I am. <laughs> Judgment and the devil. Capricorn energy. <clears throat> there's a Capricorn moon. The devil's looking straight at judgment, and the judgment is looking away. Could be feeling <clears throat> really trapped in a situation where you feel judged. That's coming out pretty strong. The Emperor, um, which can be a boss, can totally be a boss. Nine of Pentacles, um, very independent, self-sufficient energy, and the Nine of Wands. This could be moving away from a work situation where, especially with that quest, like the quest for a situation that's not all like showboaty and gossipy and... is talking like a banshee I don't know <laughs> you know we'll, we'll see what comes out and there's the ace of wands here and three of pentacles ooh seeing the truth in a situation where there's a lot of confusion and a lot of backstabbing I'm sorry guys I don't like giving those kind of messages but this is an energy of being discontent, and we have moving away from that. What's underneath the fool? The lovers, yeah, more of that decision energy. Um, okay. There's so many swords here, Spirit. That's pretty painful. That's a lot of swords in your back. Queen of Wands, King of Cups, Knight of Pentacles. And the Eight of Wands.
This Queen of Wands is totally just staring at this king, and he's kind of just sitting here. Um, so it's funny we have this communication, right? That could be the quest. The quest could be to figure out how to communicate um, and balance out those emotions, because the King of Cups, he is in control of his emotions. He's sitting in those emotions, but with the eight, and, you know, it could be talking about striking a balance, especially with this clarity, communicating in a way that's stable. Because this is a clearly like a situation where it's like, it's kind of, you know, it feels chaotic. Like it just feels really chaotic. And then we have the three of swords on the bottom. So heartbreak, hurt, four of wands, that's a foundation. <clears throat> be like celebration but you know queen of wands she can be uh she makes shit happen too she could be a boss as well I'm curious about this Queen of Wands, please. Thanks, Spirit. And thank you. Okay, that. Let's figure that out. Make long term plans. Ooh. The High Priestess and the Six of Cups. Piscean and Scorpionic energy there. Romanticizing the past. Consider carefully what you want before acting. The High Priestess is a card of using your intuition. Um, but I love this deck because it gives you actual messages that quite often relate in a way that the typical meaning of the, the card doesn't really... Um, you know, it makes sense. So it says, consider carefully what you want before acting making long-term plans on the bottom with the three of wands. The three of wands is kind of like you've made a decision. That's underlying. Have patience. And the six of cups is like a very much so like a past energy. romanticizing the past maybe this maybe this um maybe you were quite content to sit in this situation before and it didn't really bother you but you're looking at it now and like i said truth coming in about seeing a situation differently clarify the king of cups there's like discontentment here with that four of cups energy Page of Wands. Ooh. Yeah, there's definitely a need to communicate your feelings here. And sitting on that, um, there's the Page of Wands with the Eight of Wands. They're both cards about communication. And with that eight of so Ace of Swords, the Knight of Swords, and the Chariot. Yeah, there's there's a need to communicate here. Maybe even to... And, and with the King of Cups coming out, there's definitely like that. It's definitely something that's, um, whether you're resonating on either side of this, something that um, you're, you've been sitting in this for so long that maybe, like, obviously it's something that emotionally um, really impacts you. We have acceptance. Check this out. Acceptance. 
the discovery, but more of the whisper of the spirit, right? It's like listening to your higher self. And, and in this energy, this, um, consider carefully what you want before acting. There's definitely a message here about moving, moving at the right time, right? Timing and moving away from a situation, um, that's judgmental and gossipy and, and, you know, kind of stunting, but the seven of um, pentacles is like sitting and, and like really analyzing something and maybe you haven't wanted to accept that this situation is what it is, you know, or maybe accept how you really feel about it. What's this acceptance with the seven of pentacles? Clarify acceptance with the seven of pentacles, please. Yeah, work. Work. And that's like from the seven to the eight, that's a progression energy. Ten of wands and strength. That's an energy of being really worried, burdened by something. And then this, he's like in the dark, like wrestling with those feelings, right? He does not look very happy. Right? Page of swords. Page of Swords and the Page of Cups are very honest energy. This is like the spine card. Again, these whispers of spirit. Seriously, guys, listen to your intuition on this. I don't know if you guys have been ignoring it, and that's what's leading to this, like, Ten of Wands energy, feeling burdened by it. The Wheel of Fortune, that came out in the water reading as well. And again, indicative of this moving forward. Where's the Magician? Timing, 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 conflict on the bottom at work. I'm sorry, guys, this and the Eight of Cups, like walking away from something. This definitely is screaming like a work or social environment where it's like draining the shit out of you. Um, conflict, competition, gossip, judge, judgy energy, right? Anyways, enough about that. Um, the magician with the wheel of fortune is like, when the time is right, you'll manifest your way out of this situation. Um, let's look at temperance, because that is like listening to the whispers of spirit. That's so funny that, that just, came, just talking about nose hair, like, what the fuck? Just saying. <laughs> That's so awkward, I love it. Yeah, dork. Okay. Whoa. Passion. Passion. It's, it's killing you inside. That's just what I'm getting. Like you just sat in it for so long that you've just become mysticism. More of those like quieting down, quieting down to listen to spirit. Impatience. Timing too. Maybe you are aware that you need to get out of this situation, but you're waiting for the right time. And again, there's that planning energy and maybe that's that chaotic energy that I was temperance, that I was feeling, is feeling restless, restless to move, restless to get out of this situation. Once you finally accept it for what it is. Clarify passion, temperance. Four of Pentacles. That guy has four Pentacles. And he's hoarding them. He's not very happy, is he? He doesn't look that happy. He's like, oh, my Pentacles. It's greedy. It's like more of that, like, eh, like that showboaty energy. Um, where this guy over here, he's working on his passion, right? And the other guy is what he doesn't even notice the other guy. Like he's off in his own world. The tower. That could
could be the realization, the hearing, the whisper of spirit, especially with that hermit energy listening. But he's not looking at the star. Usually the, t the hermit's looking for the star in, in his little thing there. Uh, oh, oh, look at that. Speaking of the star. Yeah, he already kind of knows. And again, this may not have come in yet um, because, you know, there is a tower moment here. But I really think it's going to hit hard when this seeing the truth of the situation comes to light. And this hermit, he is not looking at the star. He's moving towards it. And the star is moving towards him. It's like they're coming together. It's, it's beautiful energy, actually. This is talking about that actual movement. Um... And a new beginning with passion and the star. That's beautiful. That's very much so like, well, it's your star. You know, it's not that. <laughs> Whatever that is to you. <clears throat> the page of wands. Again, moving out of sitting in it. I think, I think there's definitely waiting happening here for the right timing. Yeah, again, they just flew out again. But this was underlying before this discontentment um, or missing an opportunity. It, it can be... Um, it's funny that the fool is moving towards that. It's almost like the fool is meeting this hermit in this discontent energy. It's like the star is coming right to him with the lovers. Interesting. The emperor on the bottom underlying we have the emperor underlying twice um and that could just be speaking to you taking control of the situation as well careful how you communicate we have this page of wands this can be a very like Heady communication energy, communicating about that rejecting an opportunity or that discontentment. So I would just urge you guys in the chariot on the bottom again with the emperor and the lovers. Yeah, you guys are going to see this for what it is and move to your star for sure. Um, all right. Maybe I can actually not have this one get cut off. It's pretty cut and dry, I think. Um, there's definitely a sense of timing here. <laughs> the Ace of Swords with the Three of Swords. Seeing the truth of a situation. A challenging beginning, so it might not be easy. It might be why timing is involved in this. Um, the need to forgive yourself or others with the Three of Swords can talk about pain, um, a heartbreak, sadness, it says in this one. Um, yeah, again, watch how you communicate, I would say. With that, um, you don't want to add to an already hurtful and shitty situation and make it worse by being petty with your work. Like, don't fight... Don't fight Banshee with Banshee. <laughs> Make positive, optimistic, long-term plans. And that's the star. The star's coming towards you. You just have to meet it halfway. Um, let's just get one more on the star. Realistically, what is that star representing? The end of a difficult situation. Yeah, Ten of Swords, a new cycle. Embrace the change, expect things to get better now. So pretty cut and dry. Um, it sounds all crazy, but it just sounds like a petty situation, whether at work or involving other people. It could even be your social circle that's really kind of stifling your passion. You've been sitting on it for a while, um, either with this knowledge that you need to move out of this and you're making plans, or you're coming into acceptance through these kind of whispers of spirit. Um and making those plans to move towards the star. What's on the bottom? Yeah, the Knight of Wands. Um, so 
Think things through carefully. Speak your mind with confidence. Balance mental and emotional considerations. So don't get caught up in the chaotic energy. Um, don't get too wrapped up in your emotions, right? Because that King of Cups, he's been sitting in this like weird situation for seems like a while. Um, or at the very least, it's, you know, stunting his passion and distorting his emotions, right? Um, so yeah, I actually did it this time. I got it done in time. So I'm pretty cut and dry. All the best to you, my loves. Justice is underlying here. So, you know, intemperance, spirits, spirits, you know, um, supporting you on this one. Like, just look at, you know, it might be tough. But like any situation like this, it, it definitely um, will be best serving. You have an opportunity right here to teach lessons about this kind of behavior and how and how not to honor your passion right and how and how not to stay stagnant in something like this and you know when to move forward so that would be the advice just do so don't fight showboat with showboat all right take care darlings <laughs> see ya